Almost six years ago to the day, American citizens were under attack in what came to be known as the Benghazi terror attack. Yesterday in Little Falls, the American Legion Post 255 honored the fallen heroes from that day in 2012. Anthony Scott has the story. That no one is truly gone until they are forgotten. And thanks to a memorial from the American Legion riders of Post 255, retired Navy SEALs Tyrone Woods and Glenn Doherty, along with U.S. diplomat Sean Smith and U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens, will never be forgotten. The four men were killed during the Benghazi terror attacks, and on Sunday, a memorial was unveiled celebrating and remembering their service. There was only one memorial in the entire country to the, to the four heroes that died in Benghazi, and we felt like something had to be done to recognize them so they don't uh, get forgotten along the way. On September 11th and 12th, 2012, an Islamic militant group attacked the American diplomatic compound and a CIA annex in Benghazi. The attack killed Stevens, Woods, Smith, and Doherty. However, thanks to their sacrifice, many others were able to evacuate and survive the attack. The nation that forgets its fallen will itself be forgotten. Okay? And, and that's, that's what it's all about. We need to remember those that have sacrificed for us. It says right on the bench, greater love hath no man. The American Legion riders of Post 255 felt as though it was their duty to have a memorial for the heroes of the Benghazi terror attack. That's what, that's what the Legion does. We support veterans. We support veterans' families. We support their children. Whether it's by writing for a fundraiser, standing here with this, holding a flag for, for a fallen comrade, or, or whatever it is we do, we continue to serve. The result of the Legion's work is a granite bench memorial that is one of a kind. There is not another tribute to these four on public property anywhere in the United States, except for the one you see here today. The ceremony for the unveiling was greeted with immense support from American Legion riders and many other members in the community. The flag line was just awesome to see that many flags. I don't even know how many there were, but I assume there was 40 or 50 flags out there. It's just awesome to, to be part of that. The granite bench memorializes the four men who lost their life during the Benghazi terror attack in 2012, and it will continue to serve as a thank you to their service and sacrifice. Reporting from Little Falls, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. The memorial can be viewed at the Minnesota State Veterans Cemetery in Little Falls. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.